right, folks. Well, today I want to discuss the iconic Donald Trump visit to the Iowa, Iowa State College football game on Saturday. And I need to talk both about the good, but also address some of the quote unquote controversy here. Specifically, I need to debunk some of the lies that are being told about it by the never Trumpers who frankly just are never going to get it. Hence the name never Trumper. The never Trumpers are out here claiming that Donald Trump was getting booed out of the building, that Iowa couldn't stand him and everyone there despised him. And we are going to debunk their fake news here today by showing you football reference, indisputable replay video evidence that shows that the ruling on the field is overturned. Donald Trump actually was incredibly popular in Iowa, which should not be a surprise to anyone who truly gets it. And the never Trumpers once again are crying and coping and just spreading blatant lies because they just don't like Donald Trump. Many such cases. But first here, folks, I do want to start this video with the good of showing you this iconic moment where Donald Trump becomes a frat bro okay so here he is visiting the agr fraternity at iowa state <laughs> and uh just check it out see for yourself Yeah, but I'm told that everyone at Iowa State hated him, right? Donald Trump was so unpopular. Uh-huh. It's that nonsense aside, unironically, folks. Any of you frat guys out here who had the opportunity to see this, truly take it in. Because we are never going to see a president or even a Republican presidential candidate who is this cool for a very long time, frankly, maybe our entire lifetime. So you do love to see it. So there's him pulling up to the fraternity. Here he is now coming out to the frat tailgate. So he actually comes outside. Imagine this too, right? Maybe I just appreciate this because I am in college, but imagine being at a tailgate and he's just hanging out. Next thing you know, who comes out the back door? Donald Trump. All right, check it out. Here he is pulling up. <laughs> But I thought Gen Z hated Donald Trump. That's what I've heard so much, not just from liberals, but also from a lot of people on the right who have made the claims that Donald Trump is unappealing to young people. Hmm. Very interesting, is it? And this actually vindicates a point I've been trying to make on this channel for a very long time, which is that Gen Z is not nearly as liberal as people think. Right. And I get it. If you if you're watching it all from 90,000 feet, you're an older person. Your perception of what Gen Z is comes from Fox News, where they want to, like, sensationalize the admittedly stupid people in our generation that are these crazy hippie freaks who hate America and all of that. Then I fully understand where that perception comes from. But as someone myself who is in college and on the ground, I've been trying to tell people this, and now you're seeing polls show it. You're seeing the street video I did a couple weeks ago. This evidence now, folks, Gen Z is not nearly as liberal as people think. But you ask Vince, then why do they vote so liberal? Well, I'll tell you the fundamental reason, which is that the portion of Gen Z that does lean liberal that's a lot of your young women. And then obviously also the crazy blue haired freaks that everyone's familiar with. Democrats do a very good job of getting them highly politically involved and engaged. Obviously, they make sure everyone who's every young woman out there, you're mad about your abortion rights, quote unquote, make sure you go vote against the Republicans. And yet on the flip side. The Republicans so addicted to their idea of their constituency always being over the age of 85, right, <laughs> makes absolutely no attempt to reach the core demographic that I've said time and again. And now you're starting to see the evidence for people who did not believe me that actually leans a lot more conservative than you would think, which is, folks, the young men out there. 
especially a lot of frat guys like this, but not just them. Young men in general. And you're seeing this in the polls too, actually tend to like Trump and have a lot more conservative instincts than people truly realize. And this is not just one example, because many of you will remember a couple of weeks ago, I did a street video at my own college asking a lot of just random college guys that I didn't know on a Friday night, <laughs> their thoughts on Donald Trump. And for those who didn't see it, check out what happened. Trying to get people's thoughts on the Donald Trump mugshot. What are your thoughts? Hey, fuck go Biden. Well, he's a dog. He's a dog. You gotta let him out of the cage for once, for real. That mugshot is fire as fuck. Hey, his policies that he's gonna run on? Fire. Facts. His everything that he's gonna run on. Fire that mugshot? Fire. His Facts. golf game? Fire. Facts. Hey, Everybody, Joe can't play he, golf. He's a dog. Joe Real. can't play golf. Joe can't, he can't even, do anything. He can't even stand he up straight. That's my president. Donald Trump, look, look, he's not a great person, but president-wise, that, that was a good president. You think he should be free? Free him. Facts. You voted for him? Free Donald Trump. I'm voting for Donald Trump. I have been trying to tell you, and maybe you're finally starting to believe me a little bit. This is how a lot of disaffected young men across this country actually feel. But of course... What is the problem? The problem is that the Republican Party, like I said, does not particularly make a strong outreach attempt to make sure all of these frat guys that you see in the video right here, all of AGR and all the fraternities, frankly, are showing up to vote. In fact, I would virtually guarantee you, and this is the sad part, the vast majority of the people in this crowd who are cheering for Donald Trump are not actually going to vote for him in the primary or the general because they're not going to vote. And we don't really make a strong effort to get them involved. OK, so anyways, my overall point here is twofold. It's first that the idea that Gen Z in itself is completely lost and we're all stupid and they're all overwhelmingly liberal. Obviously, that's not true. But on the flip side, they're not engaged in the political process. Republicans are making no attempt to engage young men like this. In fact, very often we just feel alienated even by them because, you know, all they, they say, oh, no, young men are stupid, too. These guys are stupid, too. What, everything except actually saying, hey, you like Donald Trump, too? Go vote. Go vote. You know, get, do that. And then on top of that, there is a cultural war within the culture to suppress the voice of young men. Right. This is why we say, oh, young men need to shut up. You're mansplaining. Why? Because men t tend to lean more conservative than women. So when men speak, no, no, men aren't supposed to speak. The liberal women need to dominate the entire political discourse, right? There's that. There's also the effort to break up or ruin male spaces, right? Because this has actually been scientifically proven. When you have all male spaces and men get together and there's a lot of testosterone upon testosterone, things actually just become more right wing. That's actually a scientific fact. So what have they been trying to do? Break up the male spaces. You got feminists who always try to shut down the fraternities. You got the Boy Scouts, you know, stop playing tackle football, whatever it is. You have the efforts again to break up the male spaces, to feminize men, et cetera, et cetera. And this is the issue. This is the issue is that young men, many of them, many of us, honestly, naturally have conservative instincts. They're being suppressed. They're not being properly channeled. But if we can't figure out how to do that as a conservative movement, as a Republican Party, there's plenty there. OK, there is frankly plenty of energy needed if we do it in time to legitimately take back this country. And I do mean that. Anyways, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, enough about the frat guys for Trump stuff. I now want to move on to discuss some of the some of the other aspects of Trump's visit to Iowa, because if you actually watch the videos here, which I'm going to play in a second, the reception for Trump at the game, as you could imagine, I mean, it's Iowa. It's a college football game. I'm not even shocked or even trying to use it as a propaganda victory for my own ends. But the fact of the matter is that the reception for Trump was overwhelmingly positive. But you have the Trump haters, the never Trumpers, et cetera, et cetera, running with this narrative that Trump was getting booed out of the stadium and Iowa State despised him and blah, blah, blah. And what is their evidence for that? Well, they have two things that they're running with here. OK, uh, the first piece of evidence that a lot of people are bringing up is this photograph right here where, as you can see, 
one guy, <laughs> one guy in the entire stadium is caught on camera flipping off Donald Trump. Okay. And here's what they're saying about it. You see this guy, I think he's a DeSantis guy. He says, I'm a college football fan, have been pretty much my entire life. I'm a college football fan too, by the way. Uh, but he goes on to say, one thing I can tell you is that not many far left ideologues spend their Saturdays in college football stadiums. Most of those middle fingers that Trump got, which, by the way, there's still to this day only one middle finger I've been seen caught on the photograph, which is this one. But anyways, most of those middle fingers he got were almost certainly from independent or right wing voters. If you think this guy has a chance of winning a national election ever again, you need your head checked. And all of his evidence for that is that one guy is flipping off Donald Trump. And this is the most ridiculous tweet I think I've seen on the entire topic, because it's like, does he have a point that most college football fans lean conservative? Absolutely. That is true. I'm a college football fan. I can vouch for that. However, the idea that there are zero liberals, leftists or Democrats out there that like college football, that is insane that is oh my gosh what one college football fan doesn't like donald trump yeah there's a lot of liberals that also like sports believe it or not okay so it's like the the, the argument here is wow someone in america doesn't like donald trump you're telling me that for the for, first time right again you have a whole stadium of people cheering him on but surely one Democrat who showed up to the game flipping him off, of course, means that he was booed out of the stadium and he has no chance of winning a national election. Right. That makes so much sense. That's definitely not bad faith or bad context at all. All right. So that's the first piece of never Trump evidence that Donald Trump was booed out of the building. I don't even I mean, I don't think we really have to debunk it. It speaks for itself. You have a picture of one guy who doesn't like Trump. Wow. Wow. Wow, you really got us there. Yeah, a stadium full of a lot of people. One person doesn't like him. Okay, I, I guess it's so over for Donald Trump. He's he's definitely completely unelectable based on this evidence. All right, here's the other thing they're bringing up is this claim that Donald Trump on audio was getting booed out of the stadium. Okay, so you're seeing here this guy reports Trump audibly booed by crowd at the Iowa game. Cold reception from the rest of the crowd. And here is the video of Donald Trump allegedly again getting booed out of the stadium. Here you go. so hated, right? <laughs> I'm not joking, folks. This is the video they're running with. Okay, this is their evidence. This is what they're saying Donald Trump was getting booed out of the stadium on. Where was the booing? <laughs> like, where was the booing? So if you listen very carefully to this video and keep in mind, it's clearly recorded on a cell phone. So if you've ever been to a concert or a game, you'll know like cell phone audio always sounds kind of quiet as compared to how loud the crowd actually was. But you, you, you listen to it. It sounds to me you can kind of hear very faintly that it sounds like there's one person in the left ear who was near the camera, near the speaker who was booing him. And then you can kind of see overwhelmingly. And by the way, you can't just hear it. Not only that, you can also see it. Look at the crowd, right? Everyone's clapping, thumbs in the air, waving at him, phones in the air, right? That the if, if, if the audio is hard for you to hear, that should speak for itself, which is look at the way the crowd is reacting, right? It seems to me you have an entire crowd of people cheering. And then once again, what sounds like one person on the side is booing him. And this is your evidence. This is your evidence that Donald Trump was unpopular and got ran out of that stadium. It's a joke. It's a complete joke. You know what I mean? And then if this video right here seems inconclusive to you, then look at the frat videos, right? Was Donald Trump getting booed out of the place in that? And then look at him here. Here he is now walking but, uh, through the stands or whatever, right? Walking through the concession area. Okay. So 
let's let's put that to the test again. OK, the claim from the anti-Trump people is that the stadium hated Donald Trump and he was getting run out of the building. All right, let's take a listen to here to him getting run out of the building. <laughs> so much. Wow. Isn't he just so despised? Yeah, that looks to me like a guy who was very unpopular in that building and definitely uh, was very hated and despised, right? Ridiculous. As usual, bad faith, cheap, deliberately dishonest attempts to discredit Trump and just run with the same tired old narratives because these people, I don't know, they just have nothing to run with. It is what it is. The fact of the matter is fact checked. Donald Trump was incredibly popular in Iowa uh, yesterday afternoon. And the evidence they've shown to the contrary is not evidence. It just, it just actually makes them look stupid, which is kind of funny. Anyways, folks, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you thought of the Trump visit to the Iowa State game yesterday. Did you think he was kind of as culturally iconic as I did? Who do you plan to support in the 24 primary? Do you agree that Trump was clearly very popular in that building? Let me know. And until next time, folks, be sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. Alpha moves only. God bless and peace.